Today we're going to learn how to delete files from a root folder inside your website. So as you guys can see, inside my index.php file, I have a very basic setup. Inside my body tags, I have a form which goes in and activates the file called delete file.php. And this is going to be the file that we activate when we want to delete some kind of file from our root folder. Now inside my root folder, if we were to take a look, I have two files in here. I have an index.php file, which is the one we have in here. And I have a folder with a file called cat.jpg. Now this cat.jpg is the one I want to delete once I do actually click the button. So what I can do in here is we can go ahead and create the file called delete file.php, which is going to delete the cat image. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a new file. I'm going to save it as delete file.php. And inside this file, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up the PHP tags. So inside the PHP tags, we just need to include two things. We need to include the path to the file we want to delete. And we also need to include the function that actually goes in and deletes the file. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set a variable called path. We're going to set it equal to double quotes, then semicolon. And then inside the double quotes, we're going to write uploads, at least in my case, because my image is inside an uploads folder, forward slash cat.jpg. So right now we just include the path to the image that I wanted to delete or in case the file you guys want to delete from your root folder. And afterwards, we just need to activate it. So inside PHP, we have a function called unlink, which is the function that we use in order to delete files from our root folder. So if we were to go ahead and write unlink parentheses, and then include the path inside the parentheses, we now have the function and goes in and deletes the image. Now there's one more thing we can do, because what if we get an error message when we want to find the image? We can actually go ahead and write an if statement like so. And inside the condition, we can include the unlink function we have down here, like so, delete the semicolon. And in order to check if we get an error or not, we can include an exclamation mark from the unlink function. So we check if we did not manage to unlink this file up here, then write this error message down here. So we can actually echo a string called you have an error or something. And then under the if statement, we can write an else statement that goes in and writes a success message if we actually deleted the file. So I'm just going to copy the echo here and say you have deleted your file like so. And this is basically what we need in order to delete a file. Now, what we can also do if you guys don't want to have, you know, some kind of success message is you can also go ahead and write a header function. So we can actually go back to the original page and just get some kind of success message inside the URL. So we can actually go into header function, write double quotes, location, colon, index.php, question mark, delete, success. So now if I were to go back inside my browser, refresh, and then delete the file, you guys can see right now inside the URL, at least from what I can see, it says delete success. If I go inside my root folder, you guys can see that now the cat image is gone. And that's because I just deleted the file. So this is how we can delete files from a website. And if you guys are interested in how to upload files, I show how to do that in episode 62. So if you guys want to see it, you guys can go back in my videos. So this is how we can delete files. It's very simple. Of course, we can do more complicated stuff. Let's say you don't know the extension of the file you want to delete. Let's say you allow users to upload all sorts of images to your website, whether it being JPEGs or PNG images, then what we have here is not going to suffice because right now we said that it has to delete a file called .jpg. But if we don't know the, the type of file we want to delete, then we need to do it slightly different. So we're going to talk about how to do that in the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.